everyone welcome back to IELTS with Satya in today's video you are going to learn IELTS listening format in IELTS listening you need to learn a total of seven task types in this video we will look at form completion question types in detail with one practice test and I'll discuss important tips and strategies uh, which helps you to answer this sort of form completion questions without any delay let's get started Let's begin with listening format. Firstly, duration. If you take paper based, listening duration is 40 minutes. As you will listen to four recordings and you will write your answers simultaneously in the question paper. It will take 30 minutes time uh, to complete all the questions and you will have extra 10 minutes time to transfer your answers from question paper to OMR sheet. So if you take power based 30 plus 10 40 minutes but if you take computer based listening duration is 32 minutes as you will type your answers directly into the computer and extra 2 minutes to check your answers. So if you take computer based listening duration is 32 minutes. So overall ga duration cost the power based ke in the end time 40 minutes e 30 minutes e mo audio file vini you will have to answer each question and 40 questions answer each question. After that, 10 minutes, you will transfer your answers to the OMR sheet in the question paper. So, there are 40 minutes. If you type your answers directly, you will type your answers to the computer. So, there are 30 minutes and extra 2 minutes to check your answers. So, there are 30 minutes and 2 minutes to check your answers. So, there are 30 minutes and 2 minutes to check your answers. So, there are 30 minutes and 2 minutes to check your answers. Next, Format. When it comes to format, there are four parts in listening. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 and Part 4. Each part consists of 10 questions. Part 1, 10 questions. Part 2, 10. Part 3, 10 questions. Part 4, 10 questions. So overall, you will get 40 questions in listening. Each question carries one mark. So listening module is for 40 marks. Overall का format के वस्ते 4 parts उन्टाई, each part 10 questions उन्टाई, 40 questions and 40 marks की उन्टुन्दी, overall का format आईते. You can see on the screen, part 1, it's a conversation between two people. Conversation. So part 1, A task type उच्छना सरे मिकु, two people मध्य conversation उन्टुन्दी. Whatever the task type is, but you will always get a conversation in part 1. But in part 2, it's a monologue. Monologue. Monologue ante? Mono means single, right? One person. Monologue means a single person speaking about a topic. So part 1, conversation. Part 2, a monologue. Part 3, a conversation. And part 4, it's a monologue. So you will get different task types. But the format is same. Part 1, conversation. Part 2, monologue. Conversation and monologue. Right. So here you can see this is a full test. As I said before, each part consists of 10 questions. Right. So here you can see on the screen section 1 consists of 10 questions. Section 2 consists of 10 questions. 20. Section 3 consists of 10 questions. 30. And section 4 it consists of 10 questions, 40 questions. So in this way, you will be provided a series of question booklet. I mean, if you take paper based, a series of questions will be provided. And along with that, OMR sheet. First of all, you will listen the audio file. And you have to write your answers simultaneously. And after completion of all the questions, you have to transfer your answers from your question paper to OMR sheet. I will show you the OMR sheet. Yes, here it is. This is your OMR sheet. Overall, there are 40 questions, right? Here you can see there are 40 boxes. 4, 0, 40 boxes. So this is the structure. Now, let's move on to the task types. So overall, there are 7 task types in listening. Form completion, note completion, Sentence completion, 
multiple choice questions, matching, short answer questions, plan, map and a diagram. So overall there are 7 task types but you will get 4 to 5 task types in your exam. So any 7 task types lo manke any questions aithe raavu 4 to 5 task types or style listening lo. But we can't predict what sort of task type that you will get in your examination. So you have to prepare all the 7 task types. Okay. In this video we are going to discuss form completion. First of all let's see what is form completion. So see here. You can expect this form completion only in part 1. And the recording will often be a telephone conversation between two people. So in this task you will be given a form and you will need to fill the missing information based on the audio. So it will be a factual information such as name, phone number, address, date, postal codes and so on. And this form completion task is easiest one when compared to other task types. So overall the form okay, form anedi provide ches taru, form completion ante and akada miss sign a information miru fill chayali audio file vini. So the ekwa maximum allowant on the ante address kani, name kani, mobile number kani, uh, postal address kani, ilanti wunta yan mata. So let's see one example. Yes. So here I have one practice test for you. So what you have to do is, you have to listen to your audio file regarding to this uh, accommodation form. On the left side, you can see questions and now I will play the audio file. Listen carefully and try to answer all the given questions. And remember guys, you have to listen and write the answers at the same time. Don't forget to read the instructions, I mean the word limit. See here, here the instructions, the word limit is one word and or a number so please remember the word limit and listen the audio file and try to answer all the questions so let's begin test two you will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear there will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section one. You will hear a student talking to the student accommodation officer at a college. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. I've just been accepted on a course at the university, and I'd like to try and arrange accommodation in the Hall of Residence. Yes, certainly. Uh, please sit down. What I'll do is fill in a form with you to find out a little more about your preferences and so forth. Thank you. So, first of all, um, can I take your name? It's Anu Bhatt. Could you spell your name, please? Yes. A-N-U-B-H-A-T-T. -T. Thanks. And could I ask your date of birth? The 31st of March, 1972. Thank you. And where are you from? India. Oh, right. And um, what will you be studying? I'm doing a course in nursing. Right, thank you. And how long would you want to stay in Hall, do you think? Well, it'll take three years. 
But I'd only like to stay in Hall for two. I'd like to think about living outside for the third year. Fine. And what did you have in mind for catering? Do you want to cook for yourself or have all your meals provided? That's full board. Is there something in between? Yes. You can just have evening meal provided, which is half board. That's what I'd prefer. Yes. A lot of students uh, opt for that. Now, with that in mind, do you have any special diet? Anything we should know about? Yes. I don't take red meat. No red meat. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Now, thinking about the room itself, we have a number of options. Uh, you can have a single study bedroom or you can have a shared one. These are both what we call simple rooms. The other alternative is to opt for a single bedsit, which actually has more space and better facilities. Uh, there's about £20 a week difference between them. Well... Actually, my grant is quite generous, and I think the bed sit sounds the best option. Lovely. I'll put you down for that, and we'll see what availability is like. Now, can I ask some other personal details which we'd like to have on record? Yes, of course. I wonder if you could let us know what your interests are. This might help us get a closer match for placing you in a particular hall. Um, well, I love the theatre. Right. And I enjoy sports particularly badminton. Ah, that's worth knowing. Now, what we finish with on the form is really a list from you of what your priorities are in choosing a hall. And we'll do our best to take these into account. Well, the first thing is I'd prefer a hall where there are other mature students, if possible. Yes, we do have halls which tend to cater for slightly older students. Mm. Uh, and I'd prefer to be out of town. That's actually very good for you, because we tend to have more vacancies in out-of-town halls. Ah, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anything else? Well, I would like somewhere with a shared area, a, a TV room, for example, or, or something like that. It's a good way to socialise. Certainly is. That's it. Now, we just need a contact telephone number for you. Oh, uh, sure, I'll just find it. Um, it's uh, double six seven five. Four nine. Great. So we'll be in contact with you as soon as possible. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Yes, that's the end of section one. I'm in form completion. Now let's check the answers. Please check your answers. First answer is but B H A T T. Second answer is 31st of March. Of March, we have two words. 31st, ST, and we have to do it. 31 March. Nursing. 2. Meat. Bedsit. Theater. Mature. Town. Shared. Let's see important tips and strategies for form completion. Firstly, read the instructions. So you have to read the instructions carefully, paying particular attention to how many words, how many words you are allowed to write for the answer. For example, uh, if you say not more than one word and or a number. So there are three possibilities. You can write one word, one number, and a combination, a word and a number. Okay. If you write more than one word, your answer will be marked incorrect. Even if the information you give is correct, but you'll, that question will be marked as incorrect. So don't lose marks uh, over silly mistakes like this. Sometimes you can see 
వన్ వర్డ్ అండ్ అ నంబర్ అంటే ఎండ్ ఆర్ ఇవ్వకుండా ఎండ్ కానీ ఆర్ కానీ కూడా ఇచ్చే ఛాన్స్ ఉంది ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వన్ వర్డ్ అండ్ అ నెంబర్ ఇస్తే కాంబినేషన్ యూజ్ చేయొచ్చు వన్ వర్డ్ రాయొచ్చు దాంతోపాటుగా ఒక నెంబర్ కూడా యూజ్ చేయొచ్చు అంటే టూ పీపుల్ ఉంది కదా టూ పీపుల్ టూ అంటే నెంబర్ పీపుల్ అంటే వర్డ్ కాంబినేషన్ యూజ్ చేయొచ్చు బట్ మధ్యలో ఆర్ ఇస్తే వన్ వర్డ్ ఆర్ అ నెంబర్ అని ఇస్తే అయితే వర్డ్ యూజ్ చేయాలి లేకపోతే నెంబర్ యూజ్ చేయాలి రెండు కాంబినేషన్ యూజ్ చేయకూడదు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సి సిహియర్ నెంబరే అయితే నెంబర్ యూజ్ చేయాలి లేకపోతే వర్డ్ పీపుల్ అని యూజ్ చేయాలి అంతేకాని రెండు కాంబినేషన్ యూజ్ చేయకూడదు అండ్ ఆర్ ఇలా ఇస్తే కనుక ఇలా త్రీ పాసిబిలిటీస్ ఉంటాయి ఒక వర్డే రాయచ్చు ఒక నెంబరే రాయచ్చు కాంబినేషన్ కూడా రాయచ్చు సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు రీడ్ ద ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ కేర్ఫుల్లీ నెక్స్ట్ ప్రెడిక్ట్ ద ఆన్సర్స్ ట్రై టు ప్రెడిక్ట్ వాట్ ద ఆన్సర్ మైట్ బీ సో దిస్ విల్ ఫోకస్ యువర్ మైండ్ ఆన్ వాట్ టు లిజన్ అవుట్ ఇన్ ద రికార్డింగ్ ఓకే ప్రెడిక్ట్ చేయడం అంటే మరి ఎలా ప్రెడిక్ట్ చేస్తాము ఆన్సర్ అని డౌట్ ఉండొచ్చు ప్రెడిక్ట్ చేయడం అంటే ఆన్సర్ని ప్రెడిక్ట్ చేయడం కాదు ఆ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఆన్సర్ని ప్రెడిక్ట్ చేయడం లైక్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అంటే లైక్ అది నేమ్ అవ్వచ్చా కలర్ అవ్వచ్చా ప్రైజ్ అవ్వచ్చా డేట్ అవ్వచ్చా ఏంటి అనేది ఆ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ని ప్రెడిక్ట్ చేయండి టైప్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్ అంటే గ్రామిటికల్గా కూడా మనం ప్రెడిక్ట్ చేయొచ్చు అది నౌన్ అవ్వచ్చా యాడ్జెక్టివ్ అవ్వచ్చా వర్బ్ అవ్వచ్చా ఏంటి అనేది అలా ప్రెడిక్ట్ చేయండి సో ప్రెడిక్ట్ చేస్తే కనుక మీకు ముందు కానీ ఆడియో ఫైల్ వినక వినక ముందే ప్రెడిక్ట్ చేస్తే ఆన్సర్ ఈజీగా మీరు లొకేట్ చేయగలుగుతారు అంటే ఆన్సర్ ఈజీగా ఇచ్చిన క్వశ్చన్కి ఆన్సర్ ఈజీగా చేయగలుగుతారు ఓకే సో ఆల్వేస్ ట్రై టు ప్రెడిక్ట్ ద ఆన్సర్స్ అండ్ సో యాజ్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ ఫామ్ కంప్లీషన్ దిస్ దిస్ సార్ట్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆస్క్ యూ టు రైట్ డౌన్ అ పోస్టల్ కోడ్ నెంబర్ నేమ్ క్రెడిట్ కార్డ్ నెంబర్ సో ఇలా నెంబర్స్ ఎక్కువ యూజ్ చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది so you should familiarize yourself with how numbers letters address dates sound in foreign accent okay for example konni konni words enti ante different ga pronounce chestaru like see here zero badlu vallu o an cheppochu so native speakers often say o instead of zero and vallu cheppe appudu numbers ni triple double ila words use chestaru so you should be careful and uh, height kaani ilanti ochinappudu for example 0.5 anedi answer aithe vallu not 0.5 antaru ante zero ani use cheyakunda not ani use chestaru okay so see here o badlu i mean zero badlu o anochu double triple ani use cheyochu zero badlu not ani use cheyochu here you can see one example kinda number undi kada జీరో ట్రిపుల్ ఎయిట్ డబల్ సిక్స్ సెవెన్ జీరో డబల్ ఫైవ్ ఇట్ వుడ్ సౌండ్ లైక్ ఓ ట్రిపుల్ ఎయిట్ డబల్ సిక్స్ సెవెన్ ఓ డబల్ ఫైవ్ సో ఇలా డిఫరెంట్గా ప్రొనౌన్స్ చేయొచ్చు సో అవంతా మీరు జాగ్రత్తగా చూసి దాన్ని బట్టి నెంబర్స్ నోట్ చేయండి ఫామ్ కంప్లీషన్లో మెయిన్గా ఈ నెంబర్స్ ఇవన్నీ ఫామ్ కంప్లీషన్లోనే వస్తాయి కాబట్టి నెక్స్ట్ డేట్ డేట్ ఆఫ్ బర్త్ ఇందాక ప్రీవియస్ చేసిన టెస్ట్లో కూడా డేట్ ఆఫ్ బర్త్ ఉంది కదా థర్టీ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ మార్చ్ రైట్ so for example if the speaker says second of august ikkada second of august ante enni words vastunnai of august two words second anedi number ante one number two words vastunnai but instructions lo one word ane unte akada of raayakoddu so you can write two august second august august second ila edi raasna correct e avutundi next but you have to uh, read the given instructions so you, and you have to write accordingly don't forget to read the instructions and dates and numbers and evi chudandi finally watch out for distractors so the examiners will try and catch you out with distractors distractor ante it's a word or a phrase that changes or corrects the original piece of information given so ichina uh, first oka information istharu danni malli change chese chance untundi mimmalni confuse cheyadaniki so danni change cheyadaniki maniki words like but however uh, no no wait a minute ilanti words use chestaru for example i really love the red dress but i think i'll go for the black one as i already have red dress సో ఇక్కడ రెడ్ అనేది ఆన్సర్ మీరు చేసేయచ్చు బట్ తర్వాత మళ్ళీ బ్లాక్ వన్కి చేంజ్ అయ్యారు సో ఇలా డిస్ట్రాక్టర్స్ ఉంటాయి సో యూ షుడ్ బీ కేర్ఫుల్ 
and in this distractors but and however are particularly common distractors but there are uh, many different words and phrases that can be used to change the particular information so be alert for them okay so this is all about the important tips and strategies that you have to remember while doing form completion task type i hope you got clear idea about ielts listening format and form completion question type if you still have any further questions please drop in the comment section below and i'll definitely get back to you if you like this video please like share comment and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon take care all of you and bye bye